Hello and welcome back to you fool. Uh, again, custom nation here. Uh, I'm just going to be messing around with the custom nations until I catch up with my well repurposed Nagra and Sweden games. And I might do a Spain game too, basically very soon, because there is a new setup of course with conquistadors, with thrasher fleets and everything, so I might do something there. But as you can see I've actually created a Aztec Nation. Basically the uh, the lands that are already there I've uh, taken and created well turned into Aztec, which is uh, going to be interesting. Now the goal of this game is just going to be mostly colonization which is why I've started with a colonist and global settlement increased by plus 20 percent the promise of land. So that is going to be interesting. We also have some army modifiers, some tags. These are basically just uh, randomized. I didn't bother doing much. I just tried to spend all of my points. Now if you want to be western in uh, North America that is a 250 point deficit just to begin with. So uh, I did that and uh, I barely my nation name is in use by another country. So apparently if I take the Aztec, uh, I can't use the Aztec name, so... The Aztec. We're just going to do that. That works. So let us go done. The Aztec. Um, I'll, I should probably bother an S, but it, or add an S, but I won't bother. We are an empire, and uh, we're going to invade Europe. That's the plan. At least, that's what's going to happen, most likely. I'm also going to have a lot of fun here with, uh, again, testing the call colonization mechanics. Um, I shouldn't... Oh, I get that much of a view right now of the land. Well, that is just fine. Uh, Religion-wise, everything is uh, our religion. Uh, Culture-wise, things are going to be a little bit weird, but uh, pretty sure it's all the same. No, we do not actually accept these cultures, which means I should consider converting them, but uh, for the time being, there will be no such need. So, what I'll be focusing on here is, uh, again, just colonization, I'll not be needing any troops back at home, more or less. And uh, all my money here is probably just going to go into creating as many colonies as possible and uh, and working from there. First of all, goal here would be to colonize Panama then, I think. Why would I want to colonize there? I have no idea, but it's a it's a goal. It will also allow my colonists to do a lot more work a lot quicker, so that is uh, always wonderful. Now, I think we'll go with the stability cost here, and put relations over time, reinforce speed, just get a one in everything. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see here, because uh, apparently this fate has had some uh, upgrades, I think, but uh, I have no idea if I'm actually required to, or are required, if you will, to be, uh, to be, um, sorry, the old, uh, not really religion per se, but the old, uh, how should I put this? Uh, that I'm required to be the old uh, before westernization, the old uh, technology group. That's what I'm getting at here. I'm just uh, stuttering over my words. And again, the colonists are just using ages, so uh, it's going to take forever. Uh, let's just try to negotiate. There's no reason to fight. We're all we're all in this together. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this works out. The first group here will of course be, I think, we'll go for exploration and then quite possibly expansion. So uh, that should be alright. The quest for New World, I'm going to be testing also the events for Search for the Seven Cities set up. So that is going to be uh, very interesting. And uh, with that, I'll just allow time to pass. I'll do some colonization and uh, basically just wait. Let's see how this pans out. So, I will so far set up four colonies, one in Havana, three along the coast here to get down to Panama. It's actually too far to colonize right now, as I uh, learned, so uh, that's a problem. Uh, I also went a little bit, uh, one colony too many, as you can see. Uh, the number of colonies are exponential in, in, in cost here, as you can see, the four colonies cost me more than the three others combined, so... Uh, that's kind of an issue that needs to be uh, correctified, but uh, we're getting there. We're getting really close here to teching up, as you can see, so I don't really have any concerns in terms of uh, fixing that. We're going to get a colonist, and then we can just, uh, well, in this case, I guess we'll grant aid. We should be able to, yeah, we should be able to, worst case, now I have to take one loan, but uh, that should be fine. I can also go half down on maintenance. That shouldn't, that shouldn't be an issue either, I think. So yeah, as I'm saying here, the uh, the easiest thing here to do will just be get the national ideas, 
and then we'll get another colonist and that will uh, make the cost go down simply due to the fact that uh, um, I'll get rid of one of the last modifiers so I'll save 20 ducats basically getting a new colonist and uh, in the current set of where I'm actually doing things so let's just get these two national idea set and uh, we get an upgrade to military tank to pike square plus zero twenty five to military tactics and morale half a point very good and uh, as you can see here we'll be going faster set exploration we'll get a colonist right away which is wonderful and uh, with that effect from that colonist as you can see here now the cost is going down because we have now two colonists which means that we have two colonies at the at the base cost which is uh, wonderful because that makes it a lot easier to uh, of course make this work so we're just going to send him to one of the current colonies because we need to save up money before we do uh, another outburst if you will and again if for the time being we'll just go back to, to waiting if you will we should probably also go ahead and focus on diplomatic power and the reason is simple. First of all, we have the idea set, but we also need to focus on diplomatic tech. Diplomatic tech also do carry the nice little thing here. At level 10, you get plus 10, plus 15, etc. to global settler increase. So if you focus on diplomatic tech as well, then uh, things will be going, uh, well, rather alright in the future. So uh, for the time being, I'll just continue colonizing. There won't be too much drama going on in the first episode. I'm just going to colonize. I'm just going to take the first idea set and... Uh, basically have a very good time and uh, get the conquistador up and running pretty soon so uh, should be fun there we go we have the points required to take the uh, quest for new world we'll do the just that allows recruitment of uh, explorers and I'm a little bit sure here I might do have done something stupid now I can hire leaders so let's just get a conquistador let's put him in charge and uh, You can hunt for the seven cities if your capital is located in the colonial region. Wow, that sucks. But apparently here's the modifier. Then he'll just, well, look on his own. I wish they also had a uh, setting here that you can just be, uh, still be doing that. Except you will not get the colonial cities uh, thingamajig. Uh, just so you can actually explore without you having to order hit your guys around. But that's fine. I'll just be... Uh, I'll just be using this army to explore and the colonies will just keep on growing as they have. We have uh, soon 300 in one of them so uh, it's going fairly alright. Had some negative uh, events in terms of uh, in terms of, uh, of prestige but that's fine as you can see. Nothing here actually bothers or matters in terms of col colonization so uh, it's fairly alright. I'll sit back and uh, continue the colonization adventure. There we go, our first colony has now become uh, self-sustaining, and that is very good. We can also take an idea here that gives, uh, well, first of all, the plus 10 to my army's morale from our set of ideas, but it gets plus 50% to my colonial range, which means that we can now reach, uh, well, we can now reach Panama. And with that, we're actually going to smack down two colonies. We're going to smack down one in Varaguas as well. The reason is very, very simple. By doing that, they'll first and foremost there'll be two colonies next to each other, so we'll not be getting a deficit from well being uh, well two colonies far from each other. But the only real negative thing here is, of course, the fact that if you do not colonize the province that you are next to, it takes forever to get there over a year. So uh, that sucks, but uh, it's just how things are. We'll do upgrades to uh, both military and admin tech here. Military tech five. Come with increased by 2, infantry shock by 0 0.15, men at arms, longbow and galley infantry are now available, and we can build temples and constables from our other tech, but we're not going to upgrade our troops just yet. There's, uh, there's just no need, and by no need I mean, if I'm really unlucky here, the natives might screw me. But as you can see, so far I've discovered most of the coast on the eastern side of uh, South America, so uh, I'll just continue down the well western side here and we'll see what we uh, what we figure out and again I've said before but uh, this is basically just experimental if you don't want me to continue these two games uh, I'll probably just lay them dead and uh, and do so go back to doing achievements uh, but as I said I'm doing the uh, trying to get back to where I was with Nagoya and Sweden in the background while doing this it's basically just so that you won't have to uh, watch me doing everything again but if you want to I can of course restart I'm probably going to start later today so uh, 
give me some input there too if you want me to restart Sweden and everything in uh, in El Dorado or if I should just do what I'm planning here to do it quietly behind the scenes and then one day you'll have Sweden returns with uh, a ton of vassals etc just tell me what you what you feel like there and we'll see what we uh, what we end up with here but for now I'll uh, leave things as uh, as they are and we're currently losing money due to the fact that, again I have just too many cities but uh, I actually need to call these things, I completely forgot about that. But uh, on a positive note here, we produce gold in uh, Mosquito. So we're going to have a lot of money, but we're also going to have a ton of inflation because we're getting 0 0.18 a year from a gold mine. So uh, I might get some very high inflation in this game just for uh, just to test that out. I've never had a extreme amount of inflation, so I can't, well, say that as I said, say that I have. Global Southern increase plus 20% or 20 people a year. This is going to be really helpful. And uh, next one, I'm just going to. Uh, this won't really help us at all. We don't really have any tariffs, as, at least so far. But uh, the colonist kind of thing, it will be really, really helpful. We'll get a third, and uh, that's always, uh, always good. So for the time being, I'll just leave you guys by. I'll uh, keep on colonizing. Uh, even if some colonies become full cities, I'll probably not show you because it's basically. The colony has become a city. You get some gold, uh, or sorry, prestige. So um, I'll leave things as they are, and we'll see how this uh, goes. There we go. I have taken the global tariffs, or vice royce, sorry, before uh, before getting to you guys. But we do get an extra colonist now, and plus ten to tax due to my idea choosing. But we get an extra colonist from my exploration ideas here, and that is uh, that's fairly wonderful. And unfortunately, I can't hire a admin or uh, military guy because I simply cannot afford them, which is uh, fairly alright. Panama and a couple of others have been completed colonies now, and uh, funnily enough, with the uh, with the current setup of a third, uh, well, colonize here, I can definitely set up uh, probably two more colonies from uh, the current setup, and we are actually going to do just that. I just need to figure out where my, well, colonies actually are. There's one here and there's one here. This is almost a completed city, so I'll just recall that guy, send him here to connect the lands, if you will. And we should probably also do something in Havana pretty soon, just continue uh, well, colonizing the isles. And as you can see, in terms of uh, Conquistador work, I have most of uh, Northern South America discovered. Uh, very easy to do so though, thanks to the enormous wastelands. So uh, for the time being, we'll just keep on doing what I have been doing, colonizing, uh, messing around, relaxing, Pick your, uh, pick your, pick your word, so to speak, and uh, hopefully here I won't end up in any troubles thanks to uh, thanks to the current setup here. But I do have a new mission to uh, do some colonization, and this time it's uh, as you can see here, Alta Gracia, which I have no idea where it is. So uh, let's just go ahead here and Google Alta Gracia, which is there. I need to colonize this province then, but uh, I said it should be fine. I have three colonists now. I can get one more if I if I want to. So I'm not concerned in terms of uh, being able to make things work here. Havana just became a full-fledged colony, and with that, we'll call this guy. We'll be sending uh, someone to Moron, and uh, I'll increase the temps just to be safe. And basically, I will keep on uh, keep on doing or working with the colonizations. Unfortunately, the islands take forever though, so I might do, just do the land first and then do the islands later. But uh, they're also just so valuable, most of these, that I kind of want to secure them before any potential Europeans show up. Although, by that time, I should be more than capable of, uh, well, fighting inside of Europeans. But uh, that's another that's another story for another day, if uh, if you will. But uh, yeah, for the time being, I'll just keep on uh, keep on colonizing here and. Uh, We'll see how things pan out, and but I'm going to actually end it here. So, if you want me to continue this, tell me. If not, I'll probably go back to as I said, doing achievements. But uh, I think it could be fun to just do uh, a kind of Crusader 2 premise, a well, ask invasion kind of thing. We'll have to see how this actually works out. If it's actually something that I can pull off, but uh, it looks interesting from my point of view. So we'll see. Thank you for watching, please leave a comment, praise criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you around next time. Bye!